Hi guys and welcome to part 15 of the Batmobile build. In this episode I'm going to get the motor fitted and the chain and sprockets. I'm, I've got to get that brake working. I still don't know how I'm going to do it yet but once that's done we really are near completion now. I really think that there's only going to be one more build video after this and then the one after that's going to be the car driving round. There's still quite a bit to do but I'm, I'm really confident that it's going to happen this time. So with all that said, let's get making. While I've been building this car, I've had a lot of problems that I've had to solve as I go along. But the one thing I've been putting off is fitting the brakes. And the reason being, I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So what I did, I ordered a caliper and a disc off a mountain bike. The caliper is fantastic, but the disc, it's just far too big. So yesterday I had a breakthrough. I made a small disc out of an old saw blade. All I have to do now is make an adapter so that it fits on the rear drive axle and hopefully once I fit the brake caliper to that it'll be just perfect for this car. Let's see how I get on. Now that I've got the disc brake in position, I need to fit this caliper. The caliper has two holes, so I need to make a bracket so I can screw this caliper to the bracket. So I need to position this correctly. And to do that, first of all, I have to place it on the disc and then I have to clamp it in position, which is not easy. And once it's clamped in position, I now have to put something underneath to stop it rotating. And now I know where the clamp, uh, now I know where the caliper is going to sit. I can measure and make myself a support bracket. support bracket fits into these two holes. It'll clamp to the base and against the battery box. Now that I've got uh, the bracket made, all I need to do now is drill the holes through the base and uh, bolt it to the base of the car. And once I've done that, I can check that I can check that everything works. And once I know that it all works, I can remove it again, and give it some paint. Yesterday, I got the brake caliper fitted. It was a lot of fiddling around and a lot of rework, <laughs> getting it right, getting it adjusted, but now I've managed to get it in position. The only thing I need to do now is fit the, fit the cable so, it's, so it can be activated. I can do that later. 
I've got the motor fitted, the chain's all in position. I just I just need to build a little chain tensioner just to stop the chain moving round. And now if we turn on the ignition, we should see the voltage and pressing the accelerator everything's right everything works so that's excellent uh, today I've got to start cutting some body I've got to start cutting some body panel lines in the sides of the car and some filler caps in the rear wings that's not going to be easy because if I mess that up that's a lot of rework a lot of body filling I don't want to be doing that so let's hope I can get that right um, first thing I've got to do though is is paint this piece this piece sits on the front cover of the boot so I've got to paint that piece black then I can fit the grill and once the grills fitted I can uh, glue it all together fasten it all together then I can use my body filler to finish it all off before painting and hopefully hopefully by the end of the day everything will be ready for preparation for paint over the next few days see how it goes <laughs> Today I'm going to make a chain tensioner. I've found this spring clip and I'm going to fit it on the inside of this motor support bracket. I've got a nylon bush. I'm going to fit that onto this clip with a bolt and this small bearing. Then when I fit it onto this motor support bracket, it'll take up the slack. On the chain and stop it stop it vibrating and it'll stop it jumping off I don't want the I don't want to pull the motor too high because that'll have the chain too tight and it'll wear the chain very quickly it's better to have it's better to have um, a chain tensioner fitted well I think so anyway <laughs>
On the original car, this compartment here is full of all sorts of compressors and pipes and wires and all sorts of things. I've got no idea what they are. Uh, they're supposed to be part of the jet engine. So what I've got to do is I've just got to have a look what I've got lying around and see what I can come up with to make it look reasonable. Well, I've been having a look round and I've got a tin here full of bits I've found. I've got some... Well, I've got these pipes, metal pipes. I've got some bits off an old shower. I've got some Jubilee clips. Some pieces off a sink. Some barbecue skewers. Some bits of plastic. Some adapters that I don't use anymore. And uh, some of these little shelf supports. Some sort of button. Some shiny bits. Some plastic bits. A couple of springs, which I've put a bolt through. Well, I think I should be able to come up with something with that. Yeah, let's give it a go. side of the car. I can't fit them today because I've got to wait for the paint to dry and uh, the glue to dry but I think I've done well so far because I've got the motor fitted, the chain, the chain tensioner, I've got the, the brake fitted, 
The only thing left to do on that is the is the break cable, but I'll be doing that in the next episode. I really do believe that by the end of the next episode, the only thing left to do will be the paintwork. And on that note, catch you next time. I almost forgot to tell you, but because this car's nearly finished now, I'm looking for ideas as to what car to build next. Once this car is finished, I've got to sell it. And the reason I've got to sell it is because, well, look at the size of it. It takes up a whole table. I've got no space left in the garage. So the final video in this series is going to be somebody driving around in this car. And once I, not me, not me, no, 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 no. <laughs> Some little kid somewhere. But once that episode's finished, that's when I'm going to sell this car. Let me know what you want me to build next. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment in the section below. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you next time.